Hello Space Coast, welcome to the News in 90 Seconds for Thursday, September 8th. I'm Rob Landers bringing you some of today's top local stories. Managers overseeing NASA's Artemis 1 mission to the moon have requested new windows for future launch attempts, while teams work on hardware at Kennedy Space Center, agency officials said Thursday. If two issues can be resolved in time, NASA hopes to launch the 322-foot Space Launch System rocket from Pad 39B no earlier than 6.47 a.m. Friday, September 23rd. That window would remain open for two hours. If teams need more time, a 70-minute opportunity is available at 11.37 a.m. Tuesday, September 27th. Florida Today's space reporters Emery Kelly and Jamie Grow are bringing you continuing SLS coverage online now at floridatoday.com space. A rival hotel owner has filed legal action against the developer of the planned Weston Cocoa Beach Resort and Spa, claiming the Brevard County Commission illegally approved a marketing grant of up to $30 million for the new resort. Brevard County government also was named as a defendant in the action filed August 18th by the company that operates the Radisson Resort at the port in Cape Canaveral. You can get all the details on the case and our past coverage on the Driftwood Capital Grant at floridatoday.com. A 16-year-old Rockledge youth is in custody after police said he stabbed his grandmother in a pre-planned attack. According to Rockledge police, he was charged with first-degree murder and aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. Florida Today's J.D. Gallup has more details on the story on floridatoday.com. Not yet a subscriber? Unlock unlimited digital access to your best source for news and information on the Space Coast. Visit floridatoday.com slash subscribe. And that's 90 seconds. Thanks for watching.